Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm replacing this train package unit with a Bosch. I'm going to talk about some of the things that I like about the Bosch unit. Number one thing is that it is very energy efficient and it is also very quiet. This unit has a blower motor that can be set to a single speed and you have four options for that or you can set it to come along with the Y1 and the Y2 call. So the, if the thermostat is calling for Y1, you're gonna have a low airflow setting and the Y2 is gonna go to a higher airflow setting. It does not affect the compressor because the compressor is completely variable. I like how there is only one control board. This is gonna make it easier to troubleshoot versus having two, three or four boards. The only thing that I am concerned about is these capacitors right here. A new unit, you know it's going to have a breakdown at around year 4 through 6. And that breakdown is probably going to be a bad capacitor. Now on a regular unit, you could just swap that thing out and you're good to go. On one of these, you're going to have to change that whole board. The nice thing is that these capacitors that are integrated into that board, they say that they can withstand up to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is plenty of heat. So we should be okay. But again, only time is going to tell. The control board going out in Arizona heat has always been my main concern. So far, I have installed maybe like 12 of these package units and maybe another 12 split heat pumps. And I haven't had a single board go out. And the oldest one has got to be like five years. We always put in surge protectors. So that might be another reason why they're still in good standing. There is a lot of rumors that these units cannot remove humidity. If you are in a state like Florida, Louisiana, maybe South Carolina, and you are thinking about purchasing a Bosch, you want to make sure that you go with a contractor that's going to be very, very precise. These units are very easy to jack up. If you don't set the airflow right, if you don't do a heat load calculation, if you oversize, if you don't set the thermostat properly, more than likely you are going to have high humidity. So just make sure you talk to your contractor and that you choose the right contractor. That way you're not going to have that issue. Myself, I am in the desert, so I don't have to deal with that problem. Overall, not a bad unit at all. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Or if you have a Bosch that's being problematic, let me know too.